Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome to my channel. Apologies for the uh, wrist brace but my thumb hurts today. <laughs> but I wanted to film this, um, my wax empties for August and my September basket because I'm really excited to start my September basket. I think it's got lots of great stuff in it. And um, it's September 1st and I've already started melting it so <laughs> we should get into that. But first let's go for August. I should say if you're new here or I haven't said it or you haven't heard me say it before but I only have one melter so I don't finish a lot of stuff so I don't get a lot of empties empties. But I also like variety um, in what I'm melting so I'll melt a lot of stuff <laughs> but I don't technically finish most of it. Um, so I still have a fair bit left in my August box, but that's alright because I have more for later. And of course now my cat starts just drawing stuff <laughs> as soon as I start filming, but okay. I have a couple of things here that I'm going to take out first. Um, so these two I'm actually going to be distashing or getting rid of. Um, I melt, as you can see, I melted almost the whole bunt. This is L3's sugared corn pudding, brown sugar, pound cake, and zucchini bread. Um, not a bad scent, but it just wasn't for me. I don't know. It's just these scents together I just didn't really care for, and I didn't really like. It kind of felt stuffy in my apartment when I was melting it. So I wasn't hugely into that. So I don't think I'm going to melt the other bunt or the last piece. I gave it a good try, and it's not bad it just wasn't for me um it was very i don't know it just felt very stuffy like it really filled the air <laughs> and i don't know i didn't really like it and the other is vintage chic scents this is cherry vanilla swirl and um i i don't i think i've come to find that vintage chic scents is just not for me um i know lots of people who love it and swear by it but for me it just hasn't worked out the, the two that I've tried this one's cherry vanilla swell but it smelled like an old lady's home to me <laughs> like poppy flowers and like a floral and like mothballs and I, I put one on and I just took it right off because I just as soon as it started drifting because um yeah I just wasn't into the smell at all I didn't get anything cherry or vanilla I don't know, it just smelled like an old lady's house for, to me. So I just think vintage chic is not for me, and that's okay. Because smell is subjective, you know? Uh, and then I have some ones that I didn't even melt. Um, did I melt that one? I didn't uh, end up getting around to this. Um, that Smell Good Shop, Luke and Leia Choco Banana Bread. I think, I, obviously, I melted this back in February, I think. And it wasn't my favorite, so I don't know. But I just didn't get around. I just didn't feel like melting it this month, even though it was in my bag. And it doesn't smell bad on cold. So I'm just going to put this back in the collection. And then, okay, so let's go through the half finished ones here. Most of these are like teddy peas, because um, I really wanted to melt a lot of these right away. And I will say I didn't have any issues with throw um, all the teddy bees. I, like I literally just got them. Like this is, uh, and they're all really good. Like the past two pre-orders, and they were excellent. So this is Mrs. Teddy Bear, a blend of teddy bear biscuits, cherry pie filling, and whipped cream. Um, I liked it, but um, I didn't realize. <laughs> I do know now that um, Teddy Bear Biscuits is actually a beignet blend and I kind of was expecting more of like salt, mount, salt mountain melts um, stuffed animal cookies which is like a proper sugar cookie and with a cherry note. So, And this cherry pie filling is very syrupy and sweet. So with the beignet I don't feel like it was strong enough to counterbalance the syrupy sweetness of the cherry pie. So it was a very sweet, light scent. Like light as in, like it was strong, it went everywhere, but light as in like, I don't know. I was expecting a bit more, you know, gourmet, but obviously if you're not into the strong gourmet or the strong biscuity smell, this is a good one for you. But it was very sweet um, and I didn't love it as much as I like the more of a cookie scent with cherry. So 
but it was still nice and and I melted like more than half of this souffle so that will go back in the collection for next time uh, pink moon pink sugar sweet lavender the smell of rain crushed apple blossoms and bruised flowers I only melted one of these pieces um, I really really like the smell but it, this one is so strong I really like that um I don't know, it's like a sweet, flowery, with the scent of rain. I love rain and anything, to be honest, which is what I found. But um, it was really strong, like almost headache-inducing strong. Like I, I melted it for a bit, but then I had to take it off because it filled the apartment very, very well. <laughs> it even got into places uh, usually they don't. So this is a very strong scent, just saying. If you're interested in the Pink Moon scent, I really like the smell of it, it's just super strong, so I didn't melt too much of that. Um, and oh, this is like a brand new one, and as you can see, I'm already like halfway through the souffle. <laughs> like, I literally just hold this. Um, this is Snow Cones by the Sea Watermelon, Black Cherry, Juicy Apples, and Salty Sea Air. I was just really excited to have a smell, especially because it's a summer scent, so I wanted to get it on. Yeah. I think on cold for me I get much more cherry and watermelon, but on warm it's definitely way more apple and sea air. But yeah, oh, it was actually really good. I really liked that one. Took everything in me not to finish it up. <laughs> but I was melting these on our, our sunniest, hottest days lately, and I like that. So I'm glad to have that more for next year. Then we have peach cobbler and sugar cookies. So this is obviously more up my alley than the beignet. But yeah, I don't have much of this left. This is Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies blended with a Deccan and Peach Cobbler. This is going to be a rebuy for sure. If I see it again in another pre-order, I'm totally getting two because this was so freaking good. One of my top favorites this month. Um, the other one is also a Teddy Bees and I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> Two favorites this month for my teddy bees, but yeah, peach cob. Oh my god, this peach cobbler is so delicious! Like, it is peach, it is sweet, uh, it is biscuity. Love it, love it so much. Cookie, I guess, but I call it biscuit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love this one. This is definitely going on my future rebuy because, um, yeah, so good. Like, S tier for me, and the other S tier one is Surfside Sweet Shop. It lives to its hype. There we go, that's good. I have two pieces left. This is going to go on a rebuy as well. Um, this definitely lived up to the height. This is birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, beach night, tre beach treats or beach nights. Oh my god. So good. Just so good. It's, it's the added beach. Um, treats it really makes this for me it's like that added like um, the sea air again so good so good and I have two pieces left because I decided I didn't want to use it up but yeah, these two are definitely the S tier and they're going on my list um, probably one of my f I think I've wanted to rebuy two um, fantasy wax and now two teddy bees basically and some salt mountain because I really like their um the stuffed animal cookies but I already have a second one so anyway <laughs> so very happy about those but I need more um, and then I have a half left of fantasy wax melts boyfriend hoodie the glitter in this is so pretty oh yeah so good this is um, I melted this on a day that uh, my partner Locke was working at the office instead of at home and it was just nice to smell boy for a while <laughs> it smelled really good it definitely smelled more like like it wasn't too strong it wasn't as strong as like pink moon it was just enough to like fill the room with like this nice nice kind of fresh cologne smell it definitely made me think of my partner as a teen um, when their mum would buy them cologne <laughs> before they got into their own cologne scents. But I also did half of um, Fantasy Wax Mills Avery's favorite 2023 cherry chip cake. Uh, this one was okay. It was just a very light, um, soft 
cakey smell. I didn't get too much of this one to be honest, but it's okay. Um, I love the decorations on it. And I, I always go for the cherry cake. Um, but no, I guess I, unless I put a pot of chili on while I was smelling this, I can't remember. <laughs> but it was all right. Uh, not a hundred percent fave, but that's all right. Can't win them all um, for my own nose. And I finished this um, Nerdy Wax Company Lucifer Coconut Milk. This is the first one I put on in the month. Just plopped it in. Mm, yeah, it smelled literally just like coconut milk, like sweet. Like it made me think of coconut milk rice, which is like my favorite. And yeah, it was really, really good. Just coconut milk and it was strong and it traveled everywhere. It was great. Um, I, much like the other cherry one, I did like, I just realized I uh, did one of these. This is cherry cola cake from um, the Smell Good Shop. Sweet cherries, fizzy cola, velvety cake. I think I decided I'm not actually into this. I like Coke cake, but I don't know if I like the cherry with it. I also don't know if it really like made much of a scent. Like it wasn't very strong. I can't remember this one now very much. So I might keep in my collection for next time to see, to retry it because I don't have a memory of it. So apologies for that. But I remember it wasn't that great. And I was thinking maybe I won't, I probably won't buy from that small good shop again in the future for a while. Um, you know, focus on other stores for a while. But yeah, that's what that one is. Now I've got, uh, I finished two buns for my double pack buns from L3 Waxy Wonders. I finished one of watermelon ice cream scoop bread. So good. So delicious. So watermelony. It's definitely a candy watermelon. I loved it. Had to finish a bunt. So I'm glad to have another one for next summer. And then I have finished a bunt of vanilla cookies, vanilla wafers, vanilla ice cream. Just super vanilla. Um, yeah, just a really nice strong vanilla, clean vanilla too, like it's not too cookie or too wafers, like it's just straight up vanilla and it was great. Always nice to have on hand when you just want a simple collect scent. And then I finished this full pack of tarts from L3. This is Strawberry Pound Cake Beach Nights. So what I found this month is that I actually really like Beach Nights. <laughs> um, this was really good. I liked it with the Strawberry Pound Cake. I def I melted these like pretty quickly, to be honest. Yeah. No, I think I'm definitely a convert to Beach Nights. I found that I really like it. <laughs> Beach Nights is a warm blend of toasted mallows, sea breezes, and s'mores. So I guess there's kind of a chocolatey note to it as well, but yeah. Really, really liked it with strawberry pound cake. Great mix. My other empty is the pharmacist's daughter, Lemon Frosty. This is lemon curd, vanilla ice cream, marshmallow, and sweet cream. Um, so I've also had another lemon one. It was strawberry and lemon, but I think it was French lemon tart, I think was the lemon note. But this lemon, and I really, really loved it a lot. Um, but this lemon curd was also really, really good. So I think I definitely look out for lemon curd in the future. So I have tried some more like normal lemon and it was like too not nice lemon, you know, cleaning lemon. But the lemon curd was really, really good. And I liked this blend with like more creamy vanilla notes. Um, yeah, super tasty, really nice, um, strong throw. So that is everything for August for my basket. So I got some things I'm get throwing away a bunch. I got like half finished and like three empties. I don't know, not, not too bad for me. Um, but you know, I only melt like maximum two thing, two pieces a day. So, um, let's get into the September basket because I am really excited. I love my September basket so far. But first of all, this one, we have Rose Girls, Fireside Americano, Fireside Marshmallow, ba Bath and Body Works type, Donut Holes and Coffee. And I'm not going to smell this on cold for you because... So I melted this already today because I had to find out. This is one of my, like, I got to melt it or I got to throw it away <laughs> because on cold, this smells like B.O. Like, first of all, you get those nice notes and then it just turns into the strongest, grossest B.O. 
Like, I, I hated the smell of it. And I, it, it's even around the bag. It's so gross. <laughs> so I was like, oh man, like, I, I, so I put it on today to just see, like, is the BO in it when it's warm? And I'm happy to report it's not. Not so much. I feel like every now and then I get a slight hint of it. Just not the, it might be from my nose memory of the rest of the sense of it being cold. So I'm assuming it's going to go be over, but I don't know. But no, it doesn't seem to be out there on warm. So we're okay. But on cold, don't sniff this on cold. It's disgusting, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. But I'll, I'll melt some more this um, month. I've just put this in. But I haven't got anything yet so far, which is a bit disappointing, but I think that was my problem with this, the cherry cola cake, is it didn't really leave my kitchen, so I don't know if, um, but it's weird because my custom that I got with the, my birthday, um, my birthday fairy bread did really well, so I don't know what's up with the normal ones. I guess I'm getting a, a kind of sweet scent right now, but this is Frodo Baggins, and I had to buy it because I love Frodo Baggins. Frodo Baggins. Um, it's cornbread, blackberry, and coconut, which sounds really good. I really like the smell on cold, but this is a lot richer than what I'm getting so far. And I put two in the warmer. I don't know. I feel like hers are very light and warm for me. They don't perform so well in my stuff. Um, and then we have another Rose Girls. We'll cut this up. This is coffee in Salem, absolute coffee, pumpkin pecan waffles, campfire marshmallows, and vanilla sandalwood. I bought this not just for the name, but also, um, and coffee, but also I've heard a lot of good things about her absolute coffee oil. Um, so I'm excited to melt this. Yeah, it smells super strong. It almost has the BO smell as well. Must be something. It must be like the campfire mushrooms, marshmallow fireside with the coffee or something. But mostly it smells good, so we'll see how that comes out on warm. Then I have some teddy bees. <laughs> Gotta have some teddy bees. I've got hot pie. I've definitely become a, like a total teddy bees person. <laughs> I've got hot pie, Palo Santo, sugar donuts, tint of chai, and a dash of pink chiffon. It's just really soft and pretty. This one's pretty light, so we'll see how it comes out, but let's see if I can get smell the bottom here. Since I had to take this out to cut it anyway. Come on. Come on. Doesn't uh, I'm too weak right now with my brace. But anyway. This one's pretty light, so we'll see how it goes on warm. I'm definitely getting that um, Palo Santo there. It's coming through. It's something a bit different, a bit more woodsy for the start of autumn. And the other one I have here is um, chai tea and cookies. It's just signature sugar cookies, vanilla shortbread, and warm notes of chai tea. Uh, you know, I've been wanting that, the cookie smell. This one's much, much stronger. You definitely get that chai tea and like the sweetness of tea. Ah, oh, smells good so far. Excited for that one. Oh, and then I have some smaller ones here. First of all, I have a Rose Girls cinnamon roll with vanilla frosting little sample. Yep, yeah, smells good, like a cinnamon roll the, the front. And then I have this one, the Melted Mousse. Um, have I actually melted any of hers before yet? No. Uh, Andrea D. Sashes to me. This is Child's Play. Cinnamon sugar donuts, kettle corn, and cranberry relish. It smells good. It always smells bubblegummy to me. <laughs> so that'll be interesting on warm. Another Teddy Bees. Um, this is London Fog. I was able to snag um, the clamshell of it in the, not the last RTS, but the one before, and then she brought London Fog for pre order, but. <laughs> I was able to snag a clamshell of it. This is Earl Grey tea, lavender milk with a hint of boardwalk marshmallow. It smells really good. I really love that Earl Grey tea scent she has in here. It's interesting because I wanted to try it out because, well, first of all, London Fog, beautiful purple, just right up my alley, um, and for September too. But um, 
I tried an L grade tea from L3 and it kind of just smelled like wood. It was weird. Like I got nothing, no L grey and no tea. Um, whereas this, I definitely get the sort of L grey tea scent out of there. So I'm excited for this one. I'm not too sure about how to use her clamshells. Maybe I'll try and pre-break some of those squares, but we'll see. Um, we have another L3. Well, did I say not? I'm just talking about L3, not another one. <laughs> we have L3 here, we have Emerald City, um, a little puppy pack. We have gra baked Granny Smith apple pie topped with brown sugar and a pet pretzel crust. It smells really good. It's probably just gonna be a very apple scent, but I'm excited for that one. Cause we're gonna start the apple season, you know what I mean? Got some fantasy wax. I've got Thing, which is apple cinnamon, cinnamon sugar donut and zucchini bread. It smells so good. I burped while I smelled. Um, it was really, yeah, it smells really good. I like this apple cinnamon scent for sure. And then I have Catch a Falling Star, which is wild berry mousse, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and zucchini bread. And I love the, her wild berry mousse. Yeah, it smells really good and decadent. Then I have my first ever British Creepy Treasures. So this little ghost friend. And this is Fall Fair, which is cider lane and funnel cake. Ah, uh, smells so good. I love cider lane. Feels like a very creamy cider lane with that funnel cake. Then we have another Rose, Go Rose Girls. This is Cobbler Cheesecake, which is Blackberry Cobbler, Cherry Cobbler, and Cheesecake. It smells, it sounds so good. Oh yeah. I'm definitely in the, that cherry straight up, and I love the colors of the wax. Oh. As you can see, this is how I usually keep them packed now, with the one row. But then Locke was smelling this one and messed me, it messed it all up. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just being silly. It is a lot of effort to keep them that way. I'm flat. And then finally, but not least, we have Sassy Girl Aroma, a brittle. A very beautiful, very September looking brittle. <laughs> September's just purple for me because of the Erin Condren planners uh, back in the day. And still, you know. Um, this is Gaze Into the Night, a feminine, alluring blend of dark berries, midnight jasmine, and rich amber. I think I'm going to start on this tomorrow because it feels like a, a late summer scent to me. Yeah, I just really like this. I actually find myself like, um, I like these sort of like more sensual, perfumey scents as long as they have something like the dark berries in them. But I also love the smell of jasmine. Um, growing up, my my dad's, I guess, flat, um, like flat area had a whole bunch of jasmine growing and I always loved the smell of it growing up uh, as a kid while he was living there. Um, so I really like that smell. Something very girly and sensual and feminine, but that is my September basket. I'm so excited. I gotta cut up some things, which I'm just gonna do off camera this time. Um, so apologies. I, eventually I'll get back into um, doing my chopper chats as well with this, but I can't really chop them with the brace right now. I'm gonna get started on some of these easier to use ones. But yeah, I'm excited to melt these. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you all, you've been melting, you know, um, what were your favorites for August and also let me know what to do in for September. Are you like a seasonal, so you're going into specific scents or even color wise, <laughs> let me know. But otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I love you. Bye bye.